Hello and welcome back to the channel. So this week we are doing a Reddit round two. You guys seem to really love the first one I did, so I have decided to make this into a Reddit series where I answer people's questions about moving to DFW via Reddit. So let's get on into it. Hey fellow Texans, my husband and I are currently living in Houston and have been growing tired of the constant gulf storms, serious overpopulation, and zero thought about infrastructure increased crime, etc. We're considering moving to the DFW area. What family-friendly suburb would y'all recommend that have highly rated schools, lower crime rates, and plenty of things to do for a young family? Well, to be totally transparent, we do. Here in Dallas, we do get our fair share of storms. Now, we do not get the hurricanes that you guys have been getting, but we do get some wild spring storms. Um, and we occasionally get the ice storm in the winter. Typically that happens maybe like once a year, we get one really bad one um, and then we keep on moving. But you know, if you're closer to the city, it's rare that a tornado is gonna come through the city. But I do wanna be transparent, we do have some weather. We also have a lot more traffic. People have really been coming to Texas, whether that be Houston, Austin, Dallas, um, lots of relocation happening all across Texas. So we have become pretty populated. But on the other hand, Dallas is such a great spot to be and we don't get hit as hard with uh, the Gulf storms. We get some rain, we get some weather, but not the those crazy Gulf storms. So I would maybe recommend a couple things. So first thing that comes to mind is you could look at the Northern suburbs and by Northern suburbs, I am meaning McKinney, West Plano, Frisco, Prosper, Salina, depending on your price point now, Prosper and Frisco have gotten really expensive, but you can find some really good stuff in Plano, McKinney, um, and then Salina. Salina is a little bit further out, uh, but they've got some really great new construction options. They're a little bit more affordable. Um, and depending on where you are in Plano, the side closer to 75, the east side of Plano is a little bit less popular than the west side because you're closer to the new development in Frisco and you got lots of things to do along Preston Road. So the northern suburbs would be a good fit. You've got really great schools, lots of stuff going on. There's so much new development along the tollway going from like West Plano up to Frisco, up to Prosper, a lot going on on that 380 above McKinney. So lots of new development up that way. But if you're trying to escape the new development and you are really wanting something a little bit more secluded with great schools, then I would maybe recommend the Western suburbs. So Grapevine is one that comes to mind. Grapevine does have a little bit of a higher price point, so it's gonna be difficult to find anything under 500,000. But if you're looking above that, then Grapevine could be a really, really great option. They've got a really cute um, small town square, it feels like very small townish, but there's a good bit of people living in Grapevine. There's a good bit of things to do. Really good schools. Colleyville is another option uh, that's very close to Grapevine. They typically run together the Grapevine Colleyville um, ISD, so both are really great. It's all kind of combined into one and they've got really great ratings. Flower Mound is also on this side. It's very close to the lake. Lots of things to do here. You do have some new development in the higher price points, closer to uh, like 750 and up. Um, so you can find some new construction there. Otherwise, really, really great schools, things to do. But I personally just feel the Western suburbs are a little bit more secluded. My boyfriend's family lives over there and every time we go over there, I'm like, oh, this is so nice. It's just like, there's not the hustle and bustle that is like West Plano, Frisco. Like there's just so much going on up here and it's a little bit quieter over on the Western side. So that would be my recommendation. Okay, number two is a buying versus renting question. I know a lot of you guys have this one, so I figured I'd throw this in here cause you know, it's helpful. So hoping to get some advice about buying versus renting a place in DFW. I'm looking at places in the 500, 550K range if buying and I'd be paying cash. But with all the expenses associated with owning a place, I wonder whether renting is actually the way to go instead and investing 500K in the market for a higher return. Okay, so one of the below comments honestly said it best. Real estate is one of those investments where most of the time people are gonna say they wish they would have bought back then. And that is, that's just frankly the truth about real estate. I mean, the people who bought in let's say 2018, 2019, pre-pandemic market here in DFW, I mean, they raked it in over COVID. <laughs> I mean, you saw your value go wild. And even now, I mean, 
I've just seen some crazy numbers with those. But the people who bought in the peak of the market back in COVID, that was the height of the market and they paid a lot of money to get into those properties because the interest rates were low, but the competition was really high. So if you've got 500K, then I would say put it into real estate because you will see the return on that, especially in a market like DFW. So I think buying something is going to net you a lot more in the long term than renting. This all depends on how long you're gonna be here. The longer you hold on to real estate, the more profitable it is going to be. And that is exactly what history has shown us. All right, on to the next. So like the title says, I should be moving in about a year. Any recommendations on surrounding areas, examples like Arlington, Farmers Branch, Richardson, maybe even Forney to look into, looking to get into a nice new neighborhood, three bed, two bath, um, for no more than 325. I don't mind a 30 to 45 minute commute if it means more affordable housing. Give me some options. Well, considering the average price point here in the DFW area is around 400,000, it's gonna be a little bit tough to find something under 325. I would say you'll definitely be going further out to get 325. So if you're open to a condo or maybe a smaller townhome, then I think Addison, Richardson, North Dallas would be a really great spot to look because you are gonna be under that 325 mark. Now, if you have kids and schools are really important, that can be a little bit tricky because Dallas ISD um, is not the best. Addison is not the best either. Richardson does have some really great schools. So, you know, if you're filtering into the Richardson ISD, you got a lot more to work with. I, I will say that. So you can find some stuff there. If you are only wanting to look at single family, we are gonna have a really hard time finding something under 325. It can be done, but you will be sacrificing either the location, you may be sacrificing the update. So it might be like an older property that you can renovate and fix up over time or you may be falling into um, a neighborhood that you just don't like as much. So I think if you're trying to find something single family in and around Dallas, we are gonna have a harder time. You're gonna have to sacrifice something, but it can be done, we can't find it. Now, if you really do want new construction um, under 325, then I've seen some really good stuff in Levon, um, in Roy City, in Fate. Those are a little bit further out, so I would definitely check your commute time on that when you're gonna be commuting to and from work, because if you check it on a Saturday at 2 p.m., you know, there's no traffic then. But if you check it at 8 a.m. on a Monday morning, there's gonna be some traffic. So I use Waze to tell me how long it's gonna take me to get somewhere at a specific time on a specific date. So that could be something you should look into. But um, they do have some new construction options around 325. And you can negotiate on these, so you may find something a little bit more and then negotiate it down to 325. So yeah, I would say those are some, those are some pretty solid options there. All right, and the last one. So um, moving to Dallas-Fort Worth, me, 28 male, and my wife, 32 female, are living in Austin, Texas and looking for suburbs to move in the Dallas-Fort Worth area if anyone has recommendations. Our price point is 800,000 to 2 million. We are looking for neighborhoods with diversity and family-friendly um, examples, parks, country clubs, lifetime fitness, also within 45 minutes of the respective cities. Okay, so this is fun. You're looking at some really fun things here um, and you've got a really great price point. So you've, you've got a lot of options, which is great. So the first thing that pops into my mind is Flower Mound. I know I've talked about that before, but Flower Mound is just such a great suburb that I feel like is very slept on here in the DFW area, but you've got some beautiful neighborhoods like Tour 18 and Bridalwood. They're gonna give you access to more of those amenities within the neighborhood because both of these have golf courses. Flower Mound could be a great option for you. You do have a huge lifetime fitness there as well. There's some new development popping up closer to the lake, got some great restaurants. So I think Flower Mound could be a really great option. Another one of the Western suburbs that you could look at is Trophy Club. South Lake is really, really popular. The price point in South Lake is just a little bit more expensive though. So your money may not go as far in South Lake, but if you really like South Lake Town Square, and if you really like the area, then I think you could probably find something in South Lake uh, that would be a good fit for you. Another thing I'll mention too, you've got a lot of suburbs here in the DFW area that are master plan communities. So they are packed with uh, just amenities, community pools, things to do for the kiddos 
schools inside the neighborhood. So you've got a lot of options with neighborhoods like that. And a few that I'll mention, so you've got the new Fields development in Frisco. This is a brand new development. Definitely reach out to me sooner rather than later about this because lots are going very, very fast. But that would be a great option for you. Lots to do in that community and it's all centered around the PGA. Um, another one is Newman Village in Frisco. There's not a lot that pops up in this neighborhood because when it pops up, it sells very, very quickly because everyone wants to be in Newman Village. It's got great amenities, an amazing location in Frisco. So that could be a good option. We could keep our eye out on something like that. Winsong Ranch is another one. The homes in Winsong Ranch typically fly off the shelf as well because Winsong Ranch is just known for having amazing amenities. A new neighborhood that is just popping up in Prosper is called Mosaic, Texas. They're in their first phase of construction. So if you'd like new construction and you want to be close to Prosper, Mosaic could be a really great option if we can't find something in Winsong Ranch. So that could be a great option and you'll be able to build in Mosaic um, versus in Winsong Ranch. They've pretty much finished everything out. You will be buying something pre-owned. McKinney does have some options, but I would say the ones that I've mentioned previously are, you may like those better. Another area that you could check out is the Tribute in the Colony. The Tribute is beautiful. Oh my gosh. It is a beautiful neighborhood. It's very secluded because you're a little bit further out from Frisco, you're further away from the tollway. So if you are gonna be commuting down to Dallas, the tribute will be a little bit further because it's closer to the west side. Um, but it's not as far west as like a South Lake Trophy Club or Flower Mound, but it's on that western side, a little bit further from the tollway. So it'll take you a minute to get to one of the main highways here, but it's very secluded. It's beautiful because it's by the lake. Um, you've got a lot of great builders who have built in that neighborhood. There are some new construction opportunities left, but not a ton of them. But yeah, I mean, oh my gosh, the amenities there also are beautiful. There is a golf course there, lots of community pools, parks, trails, all that kind of good stuff. The only negative about the uh, tribute in the colony is it's zoned a little LMISD. And sometimes those schools can be a hit or miss. So definitely look at the school ratings. But if schools are important, then I would stick to Flower Mound, Trophy Club, South Lake, West Plano, Frisco, and Prosper because all of those communities are gonna have really, really great schools. And then one more I will recommend is Lucas, Texas. Lucas has amazing schools. I recently did a video on Lucas, so if you'd like to know more about Lucas, definitely check that out. The thing about Lucas is you're gonna get more land, so it's definitely gonna be feel a little bit further out, but you've got land to work with, um, so if that's something you're interested in, if you want privacy, you want some land, you want like a three, four, five car garage, then Lucas could be a better fit for you. Well, that's a wrap on this week's video. If you are moving to the DFW area and you're not sure where to go, message me down below, uh, leave me a little comment. I would love to know kind of what you're looking for. And then I will answer your question on the next video that we do in this series. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I so appreciate your support and would love to hear from you. So hit me up in the comments if you are moving to the area. So thanks so much for watching and I will see you on the next video.